Hey guys, sorry if the mic's a little mushy right now, and if there's like weird background noise, because my brothers. But Grape Juice 4.0 has been released four days ago, and I haven't tested it because I was on a trip. So they completely redesigned it, and the best part is they added multiple wine prefix support. It's really useful if you have DXVK installed. Because the XVK in Roblox Studio doesn't work go well together as of right now. Well, they also had a shortcut to install the XVK because you have to do it manually last time. Who knows how? And I tried my best to explain in my Linux tutorial, but yeah. New settings UI, I don't know what's that about. Crash dialogue, that's pretty useful. Hardware profiler, graphic settings. And FPS unlocker should only launch once, which is pretty nice. And then they already finished the Debian repository, ready for regular use, which will be useful once I release my next Linux video, so I don't have to go to like building from source, whatever that is. So I have it in here. We're gonna install, update every single one of our. Uh, Yeah, we're gonna update every single one of our AUR packages, and we'll be right back. Alright, I'm done updating, so now we can check out the new GUI. Oh, whoa! Whoa! This was unexpected! I didn't expect the world change like this. Let's see the settings GUI. Whoa, this is, wow, like, just wow, I'm honestly quite surprised. And they separate the wine prefix for Roblox and Studio now, by default, which is nice, too, so. So, like, I, I have no idea how I'm, like. The, and this one new configuration makes it so much easier. Like, like I have no, I don't know what to say. This is just cool. I, I think I might be able to finally like. Okay, I can just like I can literally just you know create. Like all the wine prefixes are there, and then you can just. I don't like. This is this is amazing. Like this was this is just. I'm quite. I'm like very. I'm quite impressed with this. This, like this was so, This overhaul was not expected, and it's amazing. Like, it it makes running Roblox on Linux a lot more user-friendly, in my opinion. And that's, that's a good thing. So, yeah. So far, so good. Maybe now I can run Studio just fine without having any issues, that's for sure. Alright, so we don't use DXVK here, but we're gonna use DXVK in here. We're gonna save changes. So now I can just run Shuyo, like so. Oh wow. Prefixes player. I'll definitely have to make an updated video on uh on this. So yeah, there's that. But but this is this sometimes I might not need to because this like the wall UI is a lot more user friendly. And the fact that they ma make oh, custom yeah. wine prefixes for us is already pretty good. And most of the stuff, we don't have to go to the terminal for the optimization yeah. settings. Like, like, DXVK is right there, baby! So, yeah, that's that. And you can change your renderer right in here. Like, just right in here. Just change your renderer all you like. So, yeah. Cool. So, thanks for watching, I guess. And I hope you're not really bothered by screaming, and see you next time.